Hello, so I'm back with another paint along video today. I'm trying these out on my channel just during lockdown whilst I've nothing really else to do. University is finished for me at the moment. So I've just kind of been playing around with mediums I don't really use, paint in particular, which I've just obviously been a sculptor for the past three four years can I take out the the fun of just creating things I've also been playing around with collage which I really love and um, sketching with biro pens so in this sketch I've just kind of been filling it up during quarantine with not really any like not really art from my practice just playing around with materials really and just creating for the fun of it no expectations I feel like these videos, um, please subscribe or comment down below if there's anything that you would like to see me try out or if there's anything in particular you'd like me to paint. Um, and just some feedback really of how you think these videos are, if you'd like them to be longer or shorter or if there's anything in particular you'd like me to chat about. So really I've been into watching real time videos of them um, paintings. I uh, hear my, my cat comes over to join me for a little bit. Um, he kept trying to drink the water, which was quite annoying. <laughs> but uh, he's so cute. Um, anyway, yeah, I've been only watching these real time paint with me videos just really just to pass the time. But I've been watching them whilst I've been painting myself and just listening to what other people have got to say really it's it's quite relaxing just to watch a process happen um, and see it go through all the different stages I quite struggled with the the sea in this um, picture this painting I, I just couldn't get it right also working with the gouache I don't know if it's just the type of paint or whatever but I just couldn't get the consistency right like I kept getting it too watery and then when I tried to make it more opaque it was like I don't know I just l it lost something so you see me do I'd, I'd work on the sea for a wee bit here because it's I just uh, I don't even know I wasn't really happy with this painting in the end either but I did think about just filming another video but I thought sometimes you you just need to create and just not worry about what it looks like but the process and just taking time out of your day to do something creative can just sometimes I don't know be nice and relaxing and good for your mental health and at the end of it like I might flip through the sketchbook in a year to come and realise I actually quite like this painting I mean you just never know Here I'm trying to get in some darker values because I felt like the sea was just getting a bit lost in the painting that looked a bit iffy and trying to get the reflections right from the sky. I mean I wasn't really going for copy in the photo of course, I was just trying to use it as a reference and just create something. I mean this is my very first landscape that I've ever painted. <laughs> So it's a bit, you know. I also really enjoyed doing the masking tape trick here. It made it look nice and clean and fresh whilst the um once the masking tape was taken off. So over the past week, maybe two weeks, I've been working on my master's application, my portfolio and stuff like that. Just finished it the other day, so 
I'm, I'm thinking about maybe making a video about the e-folio and how I made mines and stuff like that. I'll probably wait until I hear back to hear if I get accepted or not, but um, my video on how to get into the undergraduate was quite successful on my channel and I get so many messages every year um, just asking about portfolios and stuff and like after people have watched that video so it's obviously very helpful for people who are applying which I quite like um, I enjoy that my channel has a wee bit of purpose <laughs> to kind of help people out um, so yeah I'll probably make a video on that and just my process and if I get accepted obviously I've only applied for um, GSA just because I'm comfortable at that school and I quite like their postgraduate programme so um, it'll be quite specific to GSA I reckon but it's still good to see I mean I know I struggle with trying to find videos of portfolios like I just had no idea what a portfolio for a master's looked like like I know it was going to be different from an undergraduate because your work would be much more refined but at the beginning I just wasn't really sure how to approach it so hopefully I can make a video and which will hopefully just guide people if they're stuck like I was and they just kind of want just an overlook of what else is what other people are kind of putting out there and yeah I think that'll be quite helpful so that might be my next video I mean I'm trying to film one of the I'm trying to film a kind of paint with me or something each week just just to get a back upload back into uploading onto my channel really because I mean last year was well over the past year has just been so crazy I was quite ill my mental health has been quite um, challenging over the past year um, with the stress of uni and it being my final year and um, yeah so the vlogs were few and far between I mean with dissertation and stuff taking up half the year it's quite difficult to get anything in so I'm just trying to get back up into regular uploads so I hope you're enjoying that on my channel the now um, yeah so I'm kind of coming to an end here this grass in the front of this landscape was just so difficult and then I tried to go with more of a simplistic approach um, and not put in too much detail which I feel worked, which I might approach in my next vid. So yeah, thanks for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe and share the video and comment down below anything you want to ask. Thank you. Bye.